Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of how to DIY RC and in today's episode we have the e -Scene E58 and we're going to show you how to fly a Wi-Fi FPV drone using your phone with an app, the UFO app. And we are going to test all the functions and see how useful they are but before we can do that you of course have to install the JV app on your phone or tablet from the Google App Store and when that's done you have to power on the drone then go to your Wi-Fi and connect it up to the drone and then make sure it's connected and then you're ready to go and make and everything should work and then the next step is going back into the app and then the first thing you have to do is go to settings and then you have to activate the 720p camera so you got a better recording. Sorry for the flickering. Then we go back. And we start by pressing play. The first icon that you get to see, that is camera. And you can make a photo. The second one is to start a recording. One useful tip, stop recording before you disconnect the battery or you will lose all your data. The third icon, you have an overview from your videos and your photos and everything works just like it should then let's go back and go into the fourth icon that is now at 30 percent there's all your rates you can switch to 60 and then you can switch to 100 making it fly at its fastest and that's really good on a horrible day when there's a lot of wind the fifth icon is for aerial footage where we have to turn on uh, our interface and let's go back this is the normal interface that you will have when you press aerial video then you get automatic start that button is not stop button but it's actually a kill button if your something goes really south and goes wrong and you will just want to kill the power to the quad so nothing is going to happen you kill you push the little red button that says stop it's actually a panic button the other extra options that you are getting with this area of footage is the automatic takeoff and the automatic landing and if you're up in the air it will automatically hold the, the altitude and it starts to drift you can use the trim buttons to the side to counter the drift to make it stand stable and straight and at that position that you would like to have it there's all pretty nice features and this is one of the most features that you're going to be using for aerial footage photo and then the standard feature is going to be used a lot those are the three main features that you will be using on a daily basis the sixth button is gravity mode and as you can see now your phone turns into the direction you can turn the quad in you want to go left you want to go right you want to go forward you want to go back and probably still have to manually control the height but it's not something that i recommend for a beginner because it's pretty difficult to turn your quad this way but we are not all the same maybe you like it let's turn it off and then the seven i already showed you that removes your interface but if it's off a long time it also disconnects with the quad I think because your light starting flashing again so it shows like it's disconnected let's turn that back on and then the 8 icon opens a whole new bunch of options that you have and the first one is reversing your camera so it turns upside down then you have a 3D option that you even can use with two people at the same time but I don't have a VR display or braille glasses so I, I don't have a clue the fourth option is headless mode so now always the front of your quad is always the front of your quad I don't really like it I really also don't recommend it as a beginner but my dad, the old time guy, he really likes it. But he doesn't get it 
when you turn around facing the quad towards you, that left turns right and right turns left. It's, it's just that switch you need to make in your head. Then this fifth icon that makes the quad flicker is recalibration that sometimes is needed. And then the last, number six, is voice command and waypoint center. So you can say like, oh, I'm going to go left, right, then there, then over there. And the quad going to follow that route. But we have to turn that. I really want to test that in practice. <laughs> it looks very interesting. And that was it. How to fly a drone, Wi-Fi mini drone with your phone. And I hope you liked this video. It was very helpful for you guys. And you helped this video to be given it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, then give it a thumbs down. And I hope you subscribe for the next episode. Where we're going to take out for a real test flight. And we have some few upgrades coming up. I want to say goodbye. Until next time.